y'all, Nicole here, your Gulf Coast gal. I'm just having one of those days today and I need some comfort food. So I am at one of my favorite po' boy places. It's Quay Brothers Po' Boy in D'Iberville, Mississippi. It is kind of on the main drag, right close near um, Southern Grounds Coffee Shop. So we're gonna go in, I want an ooey gooey, hot, roast beef po' boy, some french fries, maybe um, a sweet tea, and just like all the classic Southern comfort food. So please join me. I'll give you a look at the menu. Um, I'll show you their cute little outdoor seating area. They also have a drive-through right here. So you can kind of maybe call ahead and order or order through the drive-through. I'm starving. Let's go get some food. I love how they have all of the bottle marks root beer right off the bat. It's just a classic and I wish you could smell the delicious smell in here. Hey! They have these cute little booths available and all of the wonderful like Coca-Cola containers. Okay, we're gonna grab a seat right here and I'll give you all a look at the menu. I went ahead and already ordered at the counter, but they have lots to offer. So back bay pool boys, of course, press and dressed. Um, I just wasn't peeled tomato today, so I got mine sans tomato. Roast beef and gravy, it's top of the list for the reason. They have just such a large variety. Like look at all those. You can get hot sausage or hot roast or ham or turkey. Soft shell crab, crab meat, to get crab meat and cheese, bank loop special, in case you don't know. <laughs> um, you can get on um, dat bun um, and all those different things. And then on Texas toast, muffalata. They also do wraps and gumbo. And then these are the Nola style po' boys. You can get huge po' boys, 32 inches, almost three feet of shrimp. I've seen that come out of that drive through window before. It's pretty, pretty neat. But I mean, super reasonably priced all fresh seafood and then you can also get seafood plates if you're super hungry i just saw one of the fish plates and it was huge it had um big beans and french fries and all kinds of good stuff two pieces of toast and then speaking of sides uh french fries onion rings or onion rings are huge and they're delicious um you can get a side of gravy you can also get french fries with gravy which is one of my recommendations bread pudding and brownie <laughs> and of course stuff for the kiddos so I just met the sweetest guys and they were telling me a little bit more about the area they were born and raised here um, in the 40s so they were giving me kind of a history lesson if you will they were telling me about Elvis and how he, he used to stomp around here and play just right down the street at um, the Diarville Community Center and that there's a museum over in that area so looking forward to checking that out I love the tiles like the, all the subway tiles around the restaurant too it's kind of reminiscent of like a little diner like a throwback diner and then I'm looking forward to showing you all that outside area yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited. I got my po' boy. It is hot and ready. It's dense, too, let me tell you. It comes wrapped in the classic white po' boy paper. Let me see if I can whoop, angle this down so you can see it. I'm so glad I wore my, um, my brown clothes today so I don't get messy, but you gotta, you gotta fold it out. Have a good day. Look, it's like sloppy and delicious. This is, again, what I've been craving all day. So proper po'boy rules are you have to use the paper kind of as a placemat. Um, I'm folding mine in half and then I've got my little wrapper. Look at that! It's so ooey and gooey and delicious. The last time I had a po' boy I think was at Toronto's in Walmart and I'll be sure to drop a link to that video down below. But like, <laughs> look how amazing! It's pressed of course, that's why it's like flat. And then again, I got it with just mayonnaise and lettuce, not fully dressed. Kind of ashamed of myself, but I, that's just what I wanted. Um, I love how the gravy mixes perfectly with the mayonnaise. Um, and then the gravy also gets in that bread. So it just soaks in and makes the perfect combination that we're going in. Just what I needed today. That's like an eight inch, but I think that's a lot longer than eight inches. Probably like a 10 inch boy. I'm gonna eat it all. 
That would be a fun challenge is to get like 32 inch bubble and try to eat it all. Like five minutes or something. The lettuce is like crisp and refreshing. I'm so glad they leave paper towels on the table. Their case is just like this. It was like $15 for a drink, a sandwich, and um, french fries, which I don't think is too bad at all, especially with the size of this bull boy. See, I'm getting so messy, but I'm living for it. I wanted to take a picture of it um, before I ate it, but it just, it doesn't look good, but it tastes so good. She asked if I wanted to wait on my fries, um, some fresh fries, so I did, and I can feel the heat radiating off of them. I kind of folded my platter over. I kind of folded my wrapper over and I'm just going to put ketchup on the wrapper and then um, use that to dip my fries in. <laughs> Let's see. I can just feel the, the heat coming off them. They're the chunky style steak fries. I like them, especially when you can get um, the fries and gravy, because it just is more surface area for the gravy. It's a huge old bag. I've eaten like three fries so far. I mean, huge bag. It's two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Perfectly. Um, I think you definitely get your value on this one. Perfectly priced. They're like crispy but also fluffy inside. And that's kind of the benefit to this shape fry. What is your favorite kind of bull boy? Let me know. Isn't this cute? I didn't know there were so many different types of varieties. They say crayfish. But y'all, I say crawfish. Pretty cool. Something else pretty neat that I just saw was this D'Iberville Monopoly. The Biloxi River, and Lemmy Bridge Road, and our Bowling alley? I'll have to go there. That'd be fun little outing. And then they also offer waiters. So you can be in a local hotel or at your house and just get it delivered directly to you. There's also this cute little outdoor dining area, um, which would be perfect for today, but they also have umbrellas should it get a little sunny out and about. Oh my goodness, y'all, that was delicious. Um, the po' boy was cooked uh, so well. It was ooey and gooey and just what I wanted. And then the fries were hot out of the grease. Um, and that whole pack was just $2.99. Um, I almost couldn't finish it. So it was, like I said, just hit the spot with a sweet tea um, to ice everything down. I love coming here. I am interested to try some of the other po' boys and sandwiches that they have but they have such a large variety and everybody is so nice. Um, I came on a weekday, so it wasn't too busy. And again, those um, older gentlemen were in there and they were telling me all about the history of D'Iberville. So it's kind of like an added value too. Um, but I love Quaid Brothers Po' Boys. Be sure to visit them. Again, uh, just right off of I-110 in D'Iberville, right down the street from Southern Grounds Coffee. That's it for me, Gulf Coast Gal, but be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on more activities, attractions, and yummy local restaurants just like Quaid Brothers Po' Boys you can only find here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast.